What's the difference between a scalping screen and an incline screen? So in behind us here, we have the scalping screen. The other word people would call this is a reclaimer or a direct feed screen. So we have here an apron feeder and that's going the same flow as the shaker deck or the screen box. And so the oversize actually goes out the end of the plant, end of the machine, and our fines product falls right through the bottom and discharges at the side and a mid-fraction the other side. So the difference is, is this is used on heavy material. This particular one can take up to an 800 stone and is a lot more versatile, so it can be used in many applications. So with the heavy duty apron feeder and heavy duty screen box, give us that thrust and ability to handle that heavy material. And traditionally the screen box has a lot more throw and g-forces in that screen box because it's handling that heavier product. So now I'll cross over to the incline screen and tell you the differences. So we're in front of the incline screen now. As you see on the hopper, we've got a, a Grizzly. Now the main reason for the Grizzly is we don't want product any larger than 180 mil going up the feed conveyor to the screen box. So as we come up the feed conveyor, the material changes course and returns back underneath itself to go onto the screen box. So we've only got a certain amount of space that this can handle as in for stone size. And this screen is more high frequency and less throw than what a, a scalping screen is. So the main uh, applications for a machine like this is when you're feeding rock that's a little bit smaller or you might be crushing into it and in some applications you'll be pulling off a sand or adding a, a rinse kit to these to do fine screening. So in overall the scalping screen is optimum for heavy duty material but can also be used for the lighter duties whereas the incline screen, the other word for these is actually a classifier, is more for those finer materials um, such as topsoils and, and um, smaller pebbles and sands. So I hope that helps. Any further questions, please reach out to the team here at Equip2.